Hello everybody, it's me Ghost Critic and I thought I'd surprise you with a comic book haul. Haven't done one of these uh, for a while now, not a proper comic book haul video. But me and my partner went out at the weekend for just a basically a drive out and we ended up in a town called Wolverhampton which we'd never been before. It was a, quite a nice town, plenty of shops to go around uh, and places to eat and drink. Uh, but of course me being the uh, comic book collector that I am, I'm always keeping my eye out for places to buy comics from. And you have to go down kind of side alleys and side streets and go maybe just a little bit further out from the town centre to find these kind of stores. And there was the usual Forbidden Planet that most cities and towns do have, which doesn't really do any... Um, back issues really uh, and when they do they're a little bit and not that incredibly overpriced but you know I'm a bargain hunter I like my bargains um, and then I came across this little shop and I just thought I'm just going to check in here just in case. It was a shop called King Street Toys and Collectibles and the window was full of kind of action figures and dinky car toys and all that kind of stuff which I'm not interested in in the slightest but I thought I wonder if they'll have any comics and right at the back of the store in a kind of almost separate room I did spy seven or eight long boxes which I had a chance to peruse. Uh, there wasn't anything terribly exciting in there but it gave me the opportunity to uh, pick up some issues to fill in gaps in some of my collections that I'm currently trying to complete. It is all Marvel, so if you're not uh, a Marvel fanboy at all, then this video probably isn't for you. But, you know, there's some pretty covers coming up. So, it's all mostly modern age. Well, it is practically modern age. There's nothing going back any further, let's be fair. Um, as I said, it's all Marvel. Let's have a look what there is. And I'm kicking off with the, the big collection that I'm trying to complete uh, from start to finish. He says, laughing away to himself uh, Fantastic Four um, so a few of the issues of these to fill in gaps uh, early 90s Fantastic Four issue 351 uh, 355 that looks like the Wreckers uh, crowbar smacking Ben Grimm one there uh, issue 359 366, which happened to be an Infinity War crossover. And of the main series, I think this is the last one I got of that, 377. Uh, from a later volume, um, issue number 10, uh, it's always difficult remembering which volume is which uh, and making sure that I don't pick up repeat copies Um but definitely didn't have this, so I was happy to add another one to this particular volume. So they were the Fantastic Fours. A few Incredible Hulks from the later end of the very first volume. Uh, this is issue 458. 471. And this was written by Joe McGinnis, uh, sorry, Joe Casey with art by McGinnis. Um, uh, issue 472. And what was to be the penultimate ep uh, issue of this run, 473. All the rest now has an X in the title. Yeah, it's all X-Men stuff. Uh, starting with uh, The Uncanny X-Men, issue 378, part of their Ages of Apocalypse. Um, I'm guessing this is a throwback to Age of Apocalypse, the event um, that they had where they stopped all of the main titles to make way for um, basically what was a new universe for the X-Men. Uh, and then we take a huge jump up to more uh, uh, recent times with Uncanny X-Men, starting with issue 476. Now, 
I had a, got a nice little run of this. Um, this is the rise and fall of the Shi'ar Empire storyline. It was a 12 issue story. They didn't have issue, uh, part one of this. So from two to 12, I managed to pick it all up. And I've already read this and I really had a good time with it. But of course I was going to. Ed Brubaker's writing it. And for the most part, Billy Tan doing the art inside uh, with a lot of the covers too. Uh, but like I said, this was great stuff i do like it when the likes of x-men and fantastic four go off and have adventures in space i always find um those kind of space type adventures a lot more interesting so issue 478 479 480 481 482 some really nice uh, uh, Billy Tan covers on these uh, 483 484 485 and the final part of this particular storyline issue 486 they were all the uncanny X-Men. Um, Astonishing X-Men. Um, this is issue uh, 50. Uh, with the team of North Star, Gambit, Wolverine. I'm not quite sure who that one is. I don't think it's Jubilee. There's Iceman. And that's uh, Warbird. I don't, can't remember who that was now. Um, issue uh, number 55, Marjorie Lou writing it there. Interesting, nice little cover there. The um, X-Men as bullets um, in this gun. Uh, now this was a five issue miniseries called The 198, X-Men The 198, uh, written by David Hine. Uh, this came straight after the No More Mutants uh, event, uh, Planet M, not Planet M, um, you know, the, the M world that they um, had for a while uh, and we were left with only 198 mutants in the whole of um, Earth 616. I got number one quite a while ago and been looking for these for a while and I managed to find issue two, issue number three. Haven't found issue four yet, they didn't have it, but there's the final issue of five. Some rather striking covers there. Uh, then a run of the X-Men series, without an adjective on. Uh, this is issue 42, filling in more gaps. 64. 65. 68. And 97. So there, I don't think I've got many more of the X-Men left to complete that particular run now because that did change its name along the way to I think it was it was New X-Men and I think they, then they changed it to X-Men Legacy then went back to X-Men and oh well it was all one big run and it was all very good and I liked it. Uh, one issue of Excalibur, one of the uh, much later ones, issue 108. Uh, X Factor, again, another series I've almost finished now. 102 and 108, like that cover with Mystique on the front and all the skulls in the background. Uh, issue 147. And uh, finally, two um, annuals from X Factor. Issue number 9. And number seven, part of the Shatter Shot uh, annual storyline that went over quite a few of the X title annuals at the time back in um, 1992. And that is it for the comic book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just something a little bit extra to add to uh, my videos this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And look out for my new comic book day haul tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.